definition of an exponential function, any function where the variable x is in the exponent to some base. And that base it stays the same. So for example, this graph here on the left-hand side, we could make it y equals, pick any base and put it to the power of x. So if I choose 2, well, it still has this shape. It's going to always go through the point 0, 1. And it will go through the point 1, comma. And if it was 2, it would be 2. If you want to label this one exactly as it is, this is a to the x, then it's 1, comma, a. Whatever your base is, when you plug in 1 for x, a to the 1 is still going to be a. Okay. The other thing that's important that they never put on these graphs is arrowheads, and they did not draw in the asymptote, so we should do that. There's an asymptote on both of these at y equals 0. On the second one, they're saying if you get an a value between 0 and 1, for example, 1 half to the x, well, now you still have, as always, the point 0, 1, just like on the green one. But now, when I plug in 1 for x, I would get 1 half comma 1 or a comma 1. Same thing as before, whatever your base is. But since 1 half is less than 1, this makes this function decreasing. So sometimes exponential functions are increasing. That's the most common, because usually you're given a base that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, something nice like that. But if you do get a fraction for the base, and that fraction is between 0 and 1, then your exponential graph will be decreasing. So here's our first example. We want to graph 1 third x. So off to the side, we can start our graph. It's an exponential graph, so you can automatically put in your asymptote at y equals 0. It's an exponential graph, so you can automatically label the point 0, comma 1. And it's an exponential graph, so we figure out what's our base. That means when I plug in 1, I'm going to get 1, comma 1 third. Since that point's lower, this is going to be one of the examples that's decreasing. In this unit, you have the possibility of an E10 error. Okay? My graph right now does not have an E10 error. I'm going to redo it in purple. Purple looks pretty good, but it has an E10 error. What's wrong with the purple graph? Right at the end, it starts to go away from the asymptote. This part, this part right here is a problem. Your graph needs to always get closer and closer to an asymptote. That's what the asymptote is there for. It's there to show that the graph keeps getting closer to it. If you draw it there and then have your graph go away from it, that's showing a little bit of a misunderstanding. Usually that misunderstanding is just that you're careless at the end. You're like, woohoo, I'm done the question. Swing your hand, swings off to the right, goes a little bit high. So we're going to erase the purple one because that has that E10 error. Okay. So graph. We're done our graph. That's all we need to have on our graph. We need our asymptote, and we need two points to give an indication of the curve and have the right shape. Once we've got that, what happens on y when x increases by 1? Every time you go 1 to the right, if I increase 1 here, I'm going to have 2, comma, 1, 9. y gets multiplied by
by one third. You can see it in the graph if you look at the y values, but you can really see it in the equation. Every time I increase x by one compared to the previous one, you're multiplying by another one third. So each time x increases by one, y gets multiplied by another one third. Is this one increasing or decreasing? This one is decreasing. There are no x-intercepts ever on an exponential function, unless we start to move it up and down, which we will. But this one has no x-intercepts. And the y-intercept is at 1. The equation of the asymptotes, do that in red, that's at y equals 0. Our domain is everything, our range is y is greater than 0 without the equal sign because of the asymptote. Or you could write this in interval notation, but then you would use a round bracket on the 0 to show that it's not included. All right, questions for practice 3, 5, and 7. Fairly straightforward. I'll give you a couple minutes to get those started.